Physicists are excited and they say this could be a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe. It all has to do with the behavior of subatomic particles called muons. Experiments at a lab near the U.S. city of Chicago have shown that muons move at a rate that's faster than expected, potentially unlocking the secrets of a previously undiscovered fifth force of nature. This could be the door to a whole new world of physics. For years, researchers have been using this ring, made of superconducting magnets, to accelerate the tiniest building blocks of matter, called muons, until they're almost as fast as the speed of light. That's when they can observe how muons interact with other forces and particles. And the results show that muons actually behave completely different to how current theory says they should. Up until now, something called the Standard Model explained all subatomic particles and their characteristics, such as charge, mass and lifespan. But scientists have observed that the behaviour of these muons suggest particles and forces exist outside of this theory. Everything that we can see in our universe, everything around us, can be explained by a few building blocks. These blocks describe the standard model of particle physics. One group of these particles makes up matter. The others transfer force. This theory can explain three of these forces, but the fourth force, gravity, can't be explained in this way. This is the force that keeps planets in their orbits, and that affects everything that has mass. When the universe was created by the Big Bang, these four forces combined. That's why the standard model can't explain what exactly happened at the beginning of time. The muons experiment could help us plug these fundamental gaps in our scientific knowledge and help us solve mysteries that have been confusing astrophysicists for decades. But first, more exact measurements and testing needs to be carried out to make sure the muon's unexplained behaviour really can be attributed to unknown particles or forces. All right, the mystery of the muons. To talk about that, I'm joined now by Alex Keshavarsi, a research associate in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Manchester in the UK. It's good to have you on the program. So how excited are you about this discovery? Well, I think it's fair to say that we're plausibly excited. We've taken a very, very precise measurement of the behavior of muons, as you explained in your intro, and done a very, very precise calculation of what that behavior should be, and we found that they don't agree. And what this hints at is that there could be new particles or forces contributing to the way that the muon behaves with the rest of the universe. I mean, now, I say plausibly excited yeah. because we measured this for, for the first time about 20 years ago. Yeah. And statistically, it's, there's about a one in a 40,000 chance that this could be a fluke, that this could be, you know, messed up. And the gold standard that we set it by is 1.3.5 in 3.5 billion. That's that's the, the, the standard that we want to set. And as we go forward with the experiment that we will hopefully reach. Well, we heard in that report that this could be proof, you know, plausible proof that um, this could, we could have a, an unknown force out there or unknown particles. So explain to the layman here among us, what, what exactly does that mean? Well, what it means is that by comparing this very precise measurement with this very precise calculation is that we've shown to an extreme likelihood that there's something about the fundamental structure of the universe that we really don't understand. And if that new measurement and this discrepancy between the two would stand up and would, would stand the test of time, it will be proof that there's something missing in the model of our building blocks of what the universe is made of. And now this could be a new force, like you said um, in the intro, it could be a new particle, but it will in general influence the universe around us and all of its contexts, including muons. And in that sense, we'll define a new paradigm in how we look at what the universe is made of. Could it possibly help explain some of the biggest mysteries in the universe? Yeah, so there are several big mysteries that um, 
most physicists agree uh, that, that are, are present and we can't explain. The, for the, the, the largest being that we don't really know what 95% of our universe is made of. Um, we know that 70% of, of, of it is made of something called dark energy, which is what we use to explain why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. And there's also the other 25% is dark matter. And we know that the dark matter has to be there because it influences parts, astrophysical parts of the universe when we look out to the stars, but we don't know what that dark matter is. And it could be that should this uh, this result from the muon g 1s 2 experiment in Chicago be proved to be a, a new physics discovery, that it could be that source of dark matter that as of yet we haven't found. Well, let's say that the numbers are in your favor and that this discovery um, turns out to be real. Are we going to have to rewrite the physics books? Well, yes and no. I mean, the, the, the standard model that, that was described in the intro works very, very well and describes a lot of the universe around us, and we can do tests and show those to be correct. But it's still true that if this result was to stand up, it will be something very fundamental about the structural universe the structure of the universe that we haven't yet observed. And clearly there's something missing given what we see when we look out at the stars and everyone accepts this. Mm -hmm. um, but if we discover a new force or a new particle, it will open up a new era in attempting to understand what constitutes, you know, the matter all around us. Alex Keshavarzi helping us understand the mystery of the muons. It's fascinating. Alex, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.